Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pop to Prem. I'm your host, Captain Biddy Man FM, and I welcome you to this Football Manager Ultimate Challenge, where we take a local pub team all the way from level 14 of the English footballing pyramid to the very top. That is the Premier League. Today's episode is going to be the biggest one so far, significantly because of the opposition that we are playing. It is South Kirby Colliery versus South MC United in the Sheffield and Allenshire County Senior Challenge Cup second round. It's the first time we've been put into a cup competition and we've drawn our biggest of rivals, South Kirby Colliery. If you don't know much about where South Emsley is and South Kirby is and why they are a rivalry, Take a quick look at this. So this is a map of the local area around South Emsel. Here we are highlighted is South Emsel. And right next door is South Kirby. Next door to that is Emsworth just over here. It's all in walking distance of one another. I grew up there. I know the significance of this rivalry. People who work together in South Emsel, work together in South Kirby and work together in Hemsworth. They stick together five days a week. But when it comes to a weekend, they are pure rivals getting onto that football pitch. And today's the first time that we will be playing one of these teams. As you know, South Kirby Colliery in the Cup. And I have mentioned Ems of Miners Welfare a million and one times. They're in a few leagues above us. It won't be too long until we catch them up. Now you understand why this is a massive rivalry. Now let's just get on with the rest of the episode. Let me show you how we've been getting on since we were last together. The last time we were together, we played Fretchville. Followed that match up with another 4-1 victory, and it was against the Bankers. Stick it to the bank. There we go. Brian Charles getting on the score sheet after 45 minutes. Grant Osford and then Jeremy Johnson getting two late penalties to give us the three points. And then we followed that up with a 5-1 victory. Brian Charles once again getting a hat-trick this time. Two goals and a penalty. John Smith and Judda Mabilia getting on the score sheet as well. 5-1 victory over one well reserves. And then we were back to playing Fretchville once again. But this time it was in the first round of the Sheffield and Hampshire County Senior Challenge Cup. And it was a 4-1 victory at that. Kisombi, Jack Devlin and Alex Padilla. One thing I have to actually say about Jack Devlin, I was going to show you afterwards, but I might as well show you right now. Jack Devlin now does not play for us. We've actually sold him and got a little bit of money for him as well. 1,000 of the English pounds came through our doors for Jack. And you know what? He wasn't having the best season in the world. A 7.16 that seems a lot, and, and I agree, it is a lot. But in this grand scale of things, we've got a lot of strikers on there that have got their goal scoring boots on. Jack just wasn't doing it for me. I did put him available and someone came and sniffed and took him off us and we got some money for him. And then our first real slip up of the season against New Bohemians and it was a 1-1 draw and not the best performance from us. A Kisombi equalised that after they went goal up by after three minutes. But then it was back to winning ways and a 2-1 victory over Millmore Juniors with Brian Charles getting a double. And getting us the three points. And then we've just played M's of mine as well for a reserve. So not the first team. But it was a small little rivalry this one. But not as significant at playing the first team. But a 6-2 thrashing from us. Down the road at the Fitzwilliam Stadium Wakefield. And it was a Kareem Henry hat trick. Brian Charles and Grant Horstead getting us the three points. And we've just followed up with the game that I said I was going to bring you, but instead we're going to bring you the rivalry against South Kirby. And it was a Kareem Henry hat trick once again. Two games, six goals. Fantastic stuff. That's six. That's five. That's six. I got it right. Get in. Three points. And we are flying high at the top of the table, ladies and gentlemen. 11 games, 10-1, one draw, zero defeats. And we are absolutely on course to make it three promotions back to back to back. Incredible, incredible performance so far from us. And so much so we were able to sell our number one striker, they were saying, our number one striker is Brian Charles and Kareem Henry. That's what I'm going to say. I think those two players are the players that are going to not just take us to the next level, but even further and further and further because they're only getting better and better and better. As you can see, the average rating down here, Brian Charles, Grant Austin again, ever presence Grant Austin and the ever presence Wesley Lowe as well. A central defender on a 7.52. Finances are looking exactly pretty much the way they were when we were last together as well. We're still around twenty to twenty-two thousand pound in debt. Don't know how to get that money back. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, we have sold a couple of players. I have got the wage budget back underneath. I've sort of got rid of a few lads that were on bigger wages. Let them go. So we're getting back to where we were with that. I'm happy with where we are, even though we are in the red. 
And that's about it. That's where we are as a team and we're on course. Everything is going rosy. So let's go and play South Kirby in the cup, get into the third round, but most importantly, stick it to the rivals. And here we go. It is cup day. <laughs> it's a big one, actually, because you've got to remember South Kirby Colliery are actually in the league above us. They won our league that we are in at this moment in time. In fact, how are they doing in that league? Let's have a quick look. They're third. So they are not a team to be sniffed at. They are a team to be very, very wary of. And we're actually going to be knocking down our tactics today from attacking to more of a balance because we are we are away from home we are odds on favorites to win it they're seven to one so hopefully we can stick with the bookies and win this so this is the starting 11 i just want to pick out a few things harry norris is back in the starting lineup recently carlos Jimenez has been our number one center back but through playing a few first team games Jimenez hasn't really progressed as much as i want him to but Norris has been playing in the under 23s and he's not been getting his face on and he's actually developing to a better player. So I've brought him back and he's just got that little bit more experience as well at the back. So it just shows in these big crunch games. Also, I am going to be playing Elliot Racy from right back from now on. He has got the face on a little bit. He wants first team football. Jeremy Johnson would be very happy to be his backup. At this moment in time, they are level pegging when it comes to attributions and quality. But Facey has got a lot more potential. That's why I want to play him. That's why I want to keep hold of him. And as you can see, Karim Henry is going to be playing as the starting striker with Brian Charles up front because of those stats, as you can see. Three games, seven goals, two man of the matches. He's a Trinidad and Tobago international. So is Brian Charles. I just want to show you 13 goals in 11 games for Brian. These two up front could be what I've always wanted to save. Brothers from another mother. Legends for soldiers. And here are the starting formations. They're going for a diamond. We're 4 4 2. Pretty much full region these days as well. Pick up where you last left off. I'm actually going to come in passionate and say we're favourites here. Give the fans something to cheer about. It doesn't recognise South Kirby as a rival on the game. I know in my heart that this is the biggest game we've played so far in this save. And they're playing on a, on a squared pitch. It looks like a steak bake from Greg's. Here comes Kizombi though to Horstead and we could have a perfect start here. Kareem Henry, they do get the ball away. Ball bounces back, here comes Terry Francis into the box. There's Kareem Henry and his goal scoring form continues. And after 31 seconds, Southampton United Services are off to the perfect of starts. This is a key indicator as well of how we will perform if we, well when when we will get promoted into the season into the league above as well. Kareem Henry with a volley and he fires it into the back of the head and it leads South Kirby Colliery zero South of the United Services one. Scream Henry again with a free kick and oh my days this kid. This kid is something special, ladies and gentlemen. Kareem Henry, remember the name, over the wall, into the back of the net. And this is, like, what is it, what are we on? Level 12 of the English football. Henry puts the ball in again, it's John Smith. Oh my days, we're absolutely running riot. It's Henry with the assist, two goals and assist. John Smith gets in there. The ever-present John Smith these days as well. Plays as my uh, ball-winning midfielder, our David Batty of the centre midfield. And he crunches his way normally through tackles, but today he gets himself on the score sheet. This game is pretty much all over unless they score here and they don't. And I'm going to say, finito. 24 minutes on the clock. Nothing happens since the goal, really. Nothing from us anyway. Comes back to Norris. Norris comes out to Curtis Carrington. Another unsung hero, I would say. Somebody puts in there, that's Brian Charles. It's 4 0. And the central defenders are literally having a nightmare at the back. This is the reason why I was happy to get rid of uh, Jack Devlin. There you go. It's in pure evidence right there that this is the reason why we got rid of Jack Devlin because these two are my secret weapon. Outstanding. The defence can't, just, just can't control them. And the Trinidad and Tobago, soon to be full internationals, I will say, are on fire today. Here comes a free kick, though, for South Kirby Colliery. Norris does edit it away, and we could make it five here. Lode pumps the ball forward, and Greenwood will pick it up for the goalkeeper. This highlight is definitely not over just yet. It's won by Kirby Colliery, though, and here come Mellon. Some more. Comes out to Pearson on this right-hand side. Pearson puts the ball into the box. Jagrowski just comes and collects. That can't be the end of the highlight. And now the ball is pumped over the top. And it's Kareem Henry who can fire it to the back of the net. And there's his hat-trick for another. He is an assassin in front of goal. And after 40 minutes, it's South Kevin Colliery nil. It's South Emsley United Services 
five, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable stuff. Route one, and he brings it down like a Premier League footballer and fires it into the back of the net. These players are just too damn good for this level. And here we go again, Carrington now. And Moore's going to easily take it off. Smith and Greaves does get a goal, and Alex Greaves has got one back. We, never, we don't really keep clean sheets, if I'm going to be honest with you. You always concede that one. There's like a lack of concentration, I will say. There it is. There's a lack of concentration from Smith. Melly puts the ball into the box, and Greaves is there with a very, very easy kind of tapping from a couple of yards out with his head. Just nods it in. It makes it 5-1. And there we go into the break, and it is the 100% perfect performance from the soldiers. I'm just going to say to the lads that I've enjoyed their, their display so far. Just keep it up. Well done. Top effort, boys. They get the game underway. They've got two Greenwoods on the bench, uh, on the pitch now, so I'm hoping that they are brothers. And we're all the talking, all the nonsense, and here we go with another highlight. Faulkner does get the ball away, but it only goes to face it. There's Henry and Kareem Henry. This time is offside. But here comes Melling now with a free kick. It's a nice one. It's just dipped just a little bit too soon and it just goes out for a goal kick. With 29 minutes on the clock, I am going to play a couple of players that don't really get much of a run out. I think Henry was on a hat trick. Let's get him off. Let's get Hayes onto the pitch. I think he could play better as an advanced forward. Absolutely. We'll get Will Jacobson on as well for John Smith. Yeah, he can play as a ball winning midfielder. And I think we're going to get Thomas on for... Yeah, we'll get him on for Francis on this right-hand side. Thomas doesn't get in anymore, but he's an under-21 international for Poland. Make sense of that, if you will. Here comes Melin, though. That's a free kick. Grudziowski makes a good save, and they're trying to get it away, but they can't at this moment in time. Here comes to Faulkner. He's going to go for the shot. He does go for the shot in the end. It bounced around a little bit. Over the bar, and that's the end of the highlight. And I think this game could be just playing itself out a little bit, but I am mistaken, because there comes a highlight. We do win the header. And then it's all kind of flicked on and we've got a little bit of sleep here. Comes Vase and he puts it wide. I'd like to see Michael Hayes try and get under the goal scoring sheet today. He's a Gibraltar under 20 and oh, maybe even under 21 internationally. Comes more again and Grzyzowski makes the save. We've kind of taken our foot off the accelerator pedal here. And South Kirby Colliery are trying to play with a bit of pride. They're just retaliating to the onslaught that we did in the first half. How are we going to get onto that? Faulkner's on it. Can we close him down? We can. And here comes Michael Hayes. And I'd love for us to get a six. Here comes Thomas now. Could Thomas pass the ball to Horse? Said he can. And it's got Kisombi all alone on this left hand side with the easiest of finishes to just to just perform the most effective counter attack we've ever seen. Fantastic stuff. Hayes to Thomas. I thought that pass had just done it for us. And we got a bit of luck there. It's a tackle. Horstead, it fell to him. And there's Kisombi. But Horstead's pass was the killer. And Kisombi, with only eight yards out, fires it home with his left foot to make it South Kirby Colliery one. South Emsley United services six. And Horstead has just gone and got himself sent off. What an absolute doofus. Seconds on the clock and here comes the goal kick. I don't even think the referee is actually going to allow this to continue. Ball goes gets pumped up the field with 30 seconds of overtime. The referee blows and it ends South Emsley services six. South Kirby Colliery won. Take that to the bank. Outstanding stuff. We get the bragging rights. Let's go. And there we have it. Six of the best for South Hempstead United Services. There's confirmation. And we're through to the third round of the Senior Challenge Cup. The Sheffield and Hampshire County one, shall I say. Not the FA Cup. That's it for this episode. I think... What we're going to do now is we're going to get ourselves right into the pole position because we are pretty much on the verge already. We're only in November, but we're on the verge of playing a couple more games, getting a few months out of the way. and We could be champions before you know it. I think because I was going to play the United Workshop game in this episode and I didn't, I went straight for the South Kirby one. The next episode that we will bring will be in the league. And I think if we come back for something around the Sheffield Bankers game, we're already nine points clear at the top of the table. So I'm thinking, I just keep an eye out on these, these episodes because before I know it, it could be at the Sheffield Bankers game and it could be the game that is the promotion game. So I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep you updated on Twitter which game I'm going to drop on. But we're going to aim for the beginning of February. If I am going to win promotion before then, then obviously I will do the right thing and bring you that game instead. But 
we're going to aim for Sheffield Bankers. But if you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me if it's good. Tell me if it's bad. Give me some pointers. If you're on Twitter, go and follow me at Captain Man FM. And if you like these videos and you want to keep up to date with my other saves that are taking place at the same time, go to my YouTube uh, channel and go and subscribe to Captain Man FM. And don't forget to turn on your notifications because then you will be notified every time I release a video. You know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. I will be back in a couple of days' time with another episode of Pop to Prem. Bye-bye.